Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be doing for you today is pan fried capelin. This is capelin season in Newfoundland and Labrador. We, um, in Ju June and July is usually when the capelin starts rolling onto the beach and spawns. Um, I'm very lucky today to get uh, some capelin that my sister Pauline, uh, she was with me just briefly on the pan fried trout and she got those off the beach on Bell Island. So she gave them to me to show you how to pan fry capelin. So I've already cleaned a few of my capelin. I'm going to show you how to clean um, a couple of these and then we'll get started on frying them. Okay, so what we're going to do, we don't need the ends, so we're going to cut them off. And we're going to cut off the tail. It's not like trout. Trout you leave on the tail because it's, you know, it's, it's just, I guess it's just what we do. And um, you just clean them out all of the inside and put it directly into water. So we'll do one more. So cut off the head, cut off the tail. You could take a little bit of the fin and up on the head side, just cut on it through the belly with your scissors and then clean them out by just putting your thumb inside and just pulling all of the remainders out and it'll be like this into the water. So this is pretty much what it looks like inside. So we got these already cleaned. I'm going to put these two over here as well. We're not going to clean these few there. I'm just going to leave them there for you to see. On this side we got smoke dried capelin and you can also get just pickled as in salted and dried and they're more or less a snack is what we would have those for. We'll have them over a campfire, warm them or on our barbecue and just hot them up and eat them while they're hot. So I guess what we'll do now is get started on frying and it's pretty much the same ingredients as what you would use for your pan fried trout is your salt, pepper, flour, um, fat pork, butter and a little bit of oil and then what we're going to do we're going to start by putting about a half a cup of flour into a bowl so that's your half a cup of flour and it doesn't really make a difference you could use a cup if you want to and just a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt we're also going to season um, the capelin just a little bit with a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And this is just, just to give it that little more flavor. So I'm just going to put all of the seasonings and the flour together. Like I was saying, we'll roll these into the flour in this little bowl. And we'll do a few of them. And then what I'm going to do next is put some fat pork into my frying pan and a little bit of butter and oil to get that pan started so as we can fry up these nice capelin. Okay, so we'll put our butter in first and a nice helping of our fat pork. I cut up in little cubes um, and as it's... Uh, Start the frying on this first a little before we put our cable into it. And uh, like, like I was saying um, just a little bit back there, cable uh, is a real big treat for Newfoundlanders this time of the year. You get a lot of people going out trying to uh, get as much as they can, not only to eat, um, for their gardens, putting it over their vegetables, and just to fun, the sport. Okay, so we'll put our capelin into the pan. And I'll show you a nice close up here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get the rest of these capelin into our frying pan. And like I'm saying, now this is fresh capelin. And they're silver um, color and they, uh, they're very flavorful. I mean, they're almost like a little trout but um, they're in the same family as a smelt if you're used to that um, they use them for bait 
and I'm going to put a little bit of oil, just a small amount, and again, you could use oil of choice. So let's get this frying air now. So just small little table and um, very delicate. So move them slightly in the pan. You just until they start getting golden brown on one side, then you can flip them. So it, it won't take very long to fry for sure. Um, but uh, it's starting to smell really, uh, really amazing in there. Okay, I'm starting to flip them. They they're getting nice and golden brown on one side. And and remember this. This tiny little capelin, if you do have access to them, be gentle with them because they fall apart on you. And look, they're starting to get nice and golden brown. It smells absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of these off, as you can see, and I will give you a, a nice close-up. They're golden brown, and they're just tiny little capelin. I'm going to serve it with, and what we usually serve it with is a, some potato and um, fresh homemade bread, and then I get some of the scrunchions to go with it. It goes well. It's delicious. So this is what our fried, pan-fried capelin looks like, and we got some potato, fresh bread, and lemon that you would just drizzle. And, and it's optional if you don't like that. Um, and again, we got our smoked uh, capelin, and we do have salted capelin that's dried. But either is equally delicious. So this is what your pan-fried capelin looks like. They're very tiny little capelin, and again, I'm serving with potato, boiled potato, and some fresh bread. Absolutely delicious. So this ends our episode of Pan Fried Capelin today. I hope you found this episode helpful for you. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Bunny This Kitchen or visit me on www.bunnydiskitchen.com and also on my Facebook page. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Pan Fried Capelin. From my kitchen to yours, have a wonderful day.